Yo, what is up guys? It is Josh back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can edit your very own Fortnite highlights video. Quickly before the video starts, if you guys are new to the channel and you want to drop me a sub, but it's completely free for you guys to do, you can change your mind at a later date. Make sure to smash that like button and also turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on any new tutorials, montages, or highlights videos. I'm also going to be running a video where I'm going to be reacting to my subscribers' montages and highlights videos. So if you want to have a chance to be in that, make sure to go follow my Twitter. I'll put it up on the screen right here. At the time of this video going up, I will have a tweet there. So make sure to go check the pinned comment if you guys want to reply to the tweets. Drop your link to your montage, that kind of stuff. But quickly before the video starts, I want to talk to you guys about an app called Wizard. Wizard is a 100% free to use content creation app for iOS, Android, and Windows. The app allows you to share content with others as well as edit directly on the platform itself and also get clips from your stream VODs automatically. This could be super useful if you're making a stream highlights video or something like that where you can just turn on wizard in the background and it will automatically clip your kills and your deaths, other things like that while you're streaming on either Twitch or YouTube. You can download wizard using the first link in my description as well as the pinned comment but let's get right into the video all right guys what is up it is josh and i'm going to be showing you guys how to edit a highlights video i made a couple new presets for you guys as well as a brand new text preset that you guys can mess around with hopefully you guys enjoy that you know i've been messing around with a lot of stuff like that if you guys want to try it out but i'm going to hop into davinci resolve and show you how to do the main points of this video which are going to be transitioning syncing time remapping effect presets as well as transitions. That's pretty much all I'm gonna be covering in this video. I made a lot of other tutorials if there's something specific that you're looking for. I'll link a playlist with all my tutorials in the description if you guys wanna check that out. But also make sure to do all the downloads that will be in the description as usual. I'll have a link to the Google Drive with all the presets for the text, the effects, the transitions, all that stuff. Make sure to also drop some support on Charlie FN's channel. He's helped me out a lot with effect and transitions. My channel would not be where it's at right now. You know, he's helped me out with making transition presets, effect presets, all that stuff. So shout out to him go drop him a sub he just released a free transition pack i'm only gonna have two transitions in this google drive make sure to go drop him a sub and download that transition pack for 100 percent free if you want to have a lot more transitions than the ones i'll have linked in the description make sure to also download the sapphire plugins i'll have it linked in the description if you guys want to check that out i'll also have a tutorial in the description if you guys want to check that out as well if you're having difficulties in installing and that kind of stuff it won't give you a virus it is 100 safe i know other people that have used it but let's get right into the tutorial and i'll see you guys once i'm in davinci results all right guys so i'm inside of davinci resolve right now as usual once you have everything downloaded you just want to go into a new untitled project you're going to go into your file up here you're going to go down to project settings and you're going to make sure that you have all of these turned on to the right settings so for 60 fps all right so the first thing you want to do after you are in davinci resolve you have all of your project settings configured all that stuff make sure that you have the song download that you want to use from for this video i'm going to be using the song stone cold by rarin i'll have a link to a converter for youtube in the description if you guys want to figure out how to download that all you got to do is copy and paste the link to literally any youtube video into it and it will convert it and then you can download it as an mp3 computer what i'm actually going to do now is i'm going to size down the audio to actually fit this so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to mark out the yeah we can see we can see right here we got another beat as well we got another beat there we're only going to do two because I'm doing a tutorial. I don't really need it that long. And then I'm just going to cut this right here. All right. And if you're in too advanced syncing as well, like you want to sync the audio to the clips where the clips end on specific beats, what you can do is you can change your marker to red and then you could just delete or any color honestly works. So you can see this little hi hat right here. I typically, typically, what I typically do is I try to end my clips on like hi hats after the main beats. So like this. This song is super easy for syncing because it's just the most obvious hi-hats and beats on planet Earth. What you're going to want to do now, I'm going to show you how to do the intro. So we're going to drag our audio to the very beginning of the timeline. We can see it was off by a bit. And then we can see I'm going to have the text end right here. So right here, what we're going to need is we're going to need a spot to fill in this blank. This is where our cinematic is going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a random cinematic. I'll have a cinematic pack linked in the description if you guys want to check that out for highlights. So I'll see you guys once I've imported the cinematic. All right, guys. So I do have a random cinematic in here. What I'm going to do to time remap it. We can see it's a bit too long for the actual portion that we're going to want the cinematic. So I'm just going to right click on the cinematic itself. Go into read time controls and see this blue bar right here what you're going to want to do is going to drag from the top right of the blue bar and what it will do is it'll shorten it but also increase the speed so we can see that it's so fast just like that it's a bit faster than normal so 
just like that what we're gonna want to do is you can just add a fusion composition right over top of it just like that we're gonna size it down to the actual length and we can see that's black don't worry what we're gonna want to do is go into the fusion of that itself and then what we're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to navigate to wherever you have the preset saved to so for me i just have it in this little folder right here and you're just gonna drag in this preset for the text that i'll have in the description and you're just going to connect the drop shadow to the media out so you can see what i have done is i've made a cool little cursive uh, highlights text thing if you guys want to use it it's super cool it also has like a bit of a wiggle to it if you guys want to check that out as well so what we're going to want to do is we're going to edit the text to say you know whatever highlights number let's say 13 or something like that or 14 or 15 whatever you guys want but for me i'm going to do what you'll learn or something like that just because in my tutorials i tend to do a lot of what you'll learn as the intro text so we can see we got a little intro text right here all right so going back into the fusion of the text i'm going to show you how to make the text you know disappear and go away we're going to go into this white pixelate right here we're going to keyframe the wipe amount at the beginning to one we're going to go 20 frames in and we're going to keyframe the wipe amount back down to zero we're going to go to the end put it at one again and then go 20 frames back from there so we're at 198 we're just going to go to 178 and keyframe it at zero and just like that we have a little cool wipe effect just like this if you guys can see it's a little white pixelate effect but just like that you'll you'll have something that says something like highlights number two or something along the lines of that but that's pretty much how to do the basic uh, actual intro text like that again all the presets will be in the description if you guys want to check that out all right guys so what i've done now is i have imported two clips and what i'm going to show you how to do is how to do basic syncing as well as basic time remapping so what we're going to do for the first clip right here i'm going to move my audio down a track and what we're going to want to do is i'm actually going to use this other clip because i honestly find it a lot better and what we can do here is we can just select the clip and we can find the point in the clip that we want to start using it so we can say just like right i don't know let's say we want to start using the clip right here or something like that we're just gonna press this little end button here and then we're gonna come to a bit after the clip and press this as well and then once we have the actual area of the clip itself selected we can just drag it in and, and it will only import that section that we had so what we're gonna want to do here is we're just gonna shorten it down further from what we already cut it down from and we're just gonna line up wherever we got the siphon right here and we can also see the numbers above the opponent's head we're gonna line that up with the marker that we set on the beat so just like this and then we're obviously just gonna shorten it down just a bit and then drag it out on the side so we can see that it's synced well already and then what we're gonna want to do for time remapping we're just gonna right click on the link clips and then just for basic time remapping just right click on this make sure that it's like this and then just make sure this is unselected for the link clips just so you're not messing up the audio when you do time remapping because it does make the audio sound a bit weird and then you're going to right click onto your read time controls for me personally i use a really good velocity but i'm going to show you how to do a different velocity in this video so we're going to right click and go into read time curve for that and we're going to expand this just a bit and we're going to make sure you're in read time speed for this we're going to add a keyframe on the kill we're going to go one two three four five six seven frames back add a keyframe there again and then we're also going to change this to 300%. So this portion that we just edited, that will be 300%. Then you're going to go one, two, three frames to the right from the first one. We're going to go there. And then we're going to change this one to 150. Just like that. And then we're going to change this one down to about 60%. Just like that. And then we're going to click on this one. Press this little easy ease button. Drag it further to the right. And then we'll just do that one just like that. And then we're going to reline it up. So what we're going to want to do is we're just going to line it so it's looking like that. And then just adjust your video back down to the proper size of what it was before. And it will look like some something like this. I gotta expand it so it's a bit easier to see. Nothing too crazy, just something a little basic. All right, so now that we have that one done and synced up, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna do the same thing for the second clip. We're just going to actually do it like this just so it's easier to work with. Again, cut it down and then this side, cut it down import the right one actually is what we're gonna do we're gonna make sure we're importing the right clip and then we're just gonna come down to here shorten it again line up the shotgun shot with like that 
and we're just gonna do the same retime process i'm just gonna skip ahead to when i'm actually done that all right so once we've time remapped this one what it looks like it looks something like this nothing too crazy but what we're gonna want to do now is i'm gonna show you how to do the effects with the presets that i just made so what we're gonna want to do for that is we're just gonna add an adjustment clip just like this over top of where we actually get the kill and then ending where the clip ends so it's just from where we get the kill till at the very end of the clip so we're going to go into the fusion tab for that and what we're going to want to do is just go and find the presets we have so for this one i'm going to use the glow wash blur impact and you do need sapphire plugins for this one as well as the other one i do have a video on how to make a highlights video with no plugins if you guys want to check that one out i'll have it in the description if you guys have difficulties you don't want to install plugins whatever your case is but plugins make it look a lot better like you guys can see just this alone but for this preset what we're going to want to do is we're going to keyframe the amplitude of the y shake at this the 6.99 whatever or 0.699 we're going to go 10 frames to the right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we're going to keyframe it at zero this next shake we're going to keyframe the beginning amplitude as well as the z distance at where it is and then we're going to go to the very end the very last possible thing and go to 0.05 and one for that so what we've done is we've kind of made a screen pump on the kill itself and then for the glow we're going to keyframe the brightness at the beginning just like that and at the very end keyframe it to i don't know maybe something like 0.4 or something like that it's up to you guys whatever you think looks the best and then this lens blur we're going to keyframe the iris scale just like this from at 4.7 we're going to go 25 frames to the right something just like that and then keyframe it down at zero so then the blur goes away about almost three quarters of the way through so it's not there for too much and then if you're having laggy playback you can also come down here to proxy mode go to quarter res just so it's a bit smoother and then we can just see that it looks like that and then for the second one we're going to do the same process add an adjustment clip we're going to drag it down shorten it to the length of the clip go into the fusion and drag in the other impact which is the shake flicker glint one so that one just looks like that it's nothing too crazy honestly it's it's a bit of a different style so for the shake what we're going to do it's the same one as the other one we're just going to keyframe 500 and 0.940 and then go to the very end keyframe at 0.05 as well as one for flicker we're going to keyframe the beginning at what it is right now go to the very end keyframe the amplitude to 0.01 and then for glint we're going to come to the very beginning keyframe the brightness at 0.1 go to the very end keyframe the brightness at zero and that's pretty much it for the effects nothing too crazy we got a screen pump flicker effect on this one i'm gonna fade the audio for both of the clips out just like that all right so for the transitions what we're gonna want to do i'm gonna show you how to use both of them just drag in an adjustment clip at the very beginning of your timeline it has to be at your beginning or so it'll mess up the keyframes go into your fusion drag in your zoom in or your zoom out transition either works just go like this and you'll see that we have four keyframes from the blurmo curves so what we're going to want to do is go to the first frame right here the first keyframe and we're just going to shorten it to that point we're going to go back in and we're going to shorten it to that last point as well and then also go back in go to the third keyframe so this is the first one right here the second one this is the third go to the third and then add a marker to where that third keyframe is and what we're going to want to do is we're going to line up that marker with the actual end of the clip so we can see this is the end of the clip right here this is the marker we can see i'm going to disable the effects just so it goes smoother and we can see right here that it goes like this it does like a quick little zoom through it's super clean just like that and then it's the same exact process for the zoom out i'm just going to delete this come back over here adjustment clip go into the fusion we're going to drag in the zoom out put it there go here shorten this down go back into the fusion go to the end shorten it gonna go into the fusion again and then we're also gonna just gonna come here add the marker to it and then line it up right here we're gonna disable this oh wrong track we're gonna disable this one and it's just the exact same but it's a zoom out but that's pretty much going to be it i'll have a rendered version at the beginning and the end of the video if you guys want to check it out but make sure to drop a like subscribe comment if you guys did learn something i'll be in the comments answering any questions you guys may have make sure to drop a sub like i said 
but if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to do all the downloads make sure to download the sapphire plugins as well as well as the bcc plugins i'll have all the links in the description to that as well as well as the text font that you'll need for this but if you guys did enjoy make sure to like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in a new video Fat niggas, that shit never bothered me If I'm broke, then we all live in poverty Same niggas on, we never doubted me Fuck these bitches, they only just bother me We got money, but